allow effectiveness to be our measure of truth. Whether we realize it or not, effectiveness is and always has been our measure of truth. If we are effective at getting what we want, we are perfectly happy with things the way they are. Just look at our life. Do we really attempt to change things that we believe are effective? The same is at every level of our being and when we are in, in relationship with other individuals. Normally, it takes some outside influence to disrupt or threaten to disrupt things the way they are that forces us to change. However, many of our problems start because we are doing what we believe is effective. We believe we are being effective with our life and the way we live our life. Unless we are desperate because some change has already occurred, our lives tend to work. Since life seems to be working, we do not wish to change anything in which we do or we assume we will lose the effectiveness we have. And since change always seems to be disruptive, why disrupt what is effective? Relative to our creative endeavors, accessing our own truth and holding our creativity sacred, there is one guiding principle that is recommended. It is to allow effectiveness to be your measure of truth. It is recommended and necessary for several different reasons. First and foremost, a truly creative endeavor takes us into the unknown. It takes us into experiences that have not been experienced by us and quite possibly not experienced by others. Mind only knows the past and what it has experienced. It will not necessarily know the truth of a situation unless it has the minimum set of requisite experiences to understand what it sees and experiences. Within the creativity perspective, we each are seen as a unique, infinitely creative being. We need to see the truth of what is as we perceive the situation we face. How and what we perceive is unique to us. No two individuals perceive any situation exactly the same way, even if they are standing right next to each other at the same point. What works for me may not work for you. You are unique. By using and relying on what is personally effective for you, you then will access your truth and your unique creative abilities. The more you try and live somebody else's truth and deny what is effective for you, you deny your own creative abilities. The truth and effectiveness we are talking about may be as simple as watching a movie. My truth may be that I like comedies. Your truth may be that you like drama. If my intention is to entertain you and I deny my truth by watching a drama to please you, I limit myself on my own creative abilities. If, however, my intention is to help you to be entertained and I take you to a drama and sit with you through the drama, I am not denying my truth for my intention is not to be entertained but to help you to be entertained. If the same way my intention is to have you entertained and your intention is to be entertained and I take you to, to a comedy because I like comedies, I deny my own truth which is to have you entertained by denying what entertains you. In doing so, I cause you to deny your truth because you are watching something to please me that does not really please you. In doing so, I cause you to deny your truth because you are watching something to please me that does not really entertain you. In this process, we both lose to our unlimited creativity because we are denying our truths and do lose what is effective for us to achieve our desires. Whether or not what we observe is completely correct for the situation of which we are a part is another question since creation takes us into the unknown and mind only knows the past. We may or may not have been involved in a similar and parallel situation and we will be unable to infer what is true as what we would like to do. Yet, we can take what we observe and allow effectiveness to be our measure of truth. If what we observe is effective for what we wish to create and the inferences we make seem to be correct, then we can probably safely say that what we observe is consistent with the process of which we are a part. If we are not effective, then we have to look at some other understanding or make some other assumption about the process of which we are a part. If we truly understand and see the truth of or within a situation, we will be able to influence that situation based on that truth and have it respond to our influence in the way we desire. If it doesn't respond the way we perceive, we don't know the truth of the situation. When we understand something and the method that we use allows us to repeatedly achieve what we set out to do, we have an understanding of truth for that situation. In that understanding, we are effective for what we are trying to do. Similarly, if we are effective at what we are trying to do, we must possess some understanding of truth. I urge that we apply the same approach to our life and allow what is effective in our life to be a measure of our truth. If it works for us, use it. If it is not working, then try something else. We may never know ultimate truth for a given situation we face, but we do know what is effective in our lives to create what we desire.
So it doesn't matter if we think and believe we are told about something. It is effective if we are able to create what we wish. Something that is truthful is effective and we can let its effectiveness be our measure of truth for that situation we face. If something is effective, it is predictable that it will work the same way all the time under the same conditions. We don't have to doubt because it is truth. So in closing, you are reminded whether we realize it or not, effectiveness is and always has been our measure of truth. If we are effective at getting what we want, we are perfectly happy with things the way they are. Just look at the lives we live. Do we really attempt to change things that we believe are effective? Normally some outside influence disrupts or threatens to disrupt things the way they are that forces us to change. The same exists at every level of our being and even when we are in relationships with others. We believe we are being effective and it normally takes some outside influence to disrupt or threaten to disrupt things as they are that forces us to change. So if we are experiencing what we consider disruptions in our life, we need to consider there may be things we consider as truth which in fact the truth is no longer applicable for what we desire.